of faith and trust in Allah. My uh, family name, Clifford Feltner. My Islamic name, Amin Abdallah Muhyiddin. Uh, before Islam, uh, I studied many religions, uh, trying to find a good religion. And I first was introduced in Islam in Saudi Arabia in 1991 by a Palestine man. I asked him about the Azan. At this time, I didn't know what is Azan. And he explained to me this is a religion of Islam. And I asked him, what is Islam? So he explained to me Islam and to believe in Allah. And after this, I decided this is the religion that I've been searching for all my life. I became a Muslim or revert, convert to, revert to Islam in 1996. I came to Egypt in 1995 with a service with the UN. So this was my chance to go to Al-Azhar, study, get any information. The Egyptians that worked inside the camp with me brought me books, taught me some Arabic, were working with me. And then uh, I decided it was time to make my reversion to Islam. I chose a name for myself, Amin, which someone uh, called me Amin, Abdallah, which I took from the holy book, Quran, and then Muhaddin, I dreamed and wrote it down. And I chose this as my name, Amin Abdallah Muhyiddin. And since then, uh, I love Islam, studied Islam, and tried to practice Islam, alhamdulillah. Another Muslim should advise other Muslims by using the Holy Quran. You can find any answer by reading the Holy Quran, using the Hadith and examples in Hadith and examples for the Prophet, peace and blessing upon him, his way of life and how he lived his life. This is the best uh, advice that he can offer and most important supporting him in the five prayers, how important it is to keep the five daily prayers. The things I've learned from the, the Prophet, peace and blessings upon him, uh, his honesty, uh, his uh, treatment towards other people by caring, sharing, giving gifts, helping out the poor, helping the elderly. Uh, these are good examples. Uh, and these are examples that I use to apply in my own life and with others and how I treat others. Uh, there was this one day that changed my life actually. Um, I went with a group of tourists into the bazaar area and there was a man, it was Friday, and a man closed his shop just in front of us. And he said that he's going now to the Friday prayer. And uh, I was telling him that I have a group of people with me who wants to spend all their money because they're traveling tomorrow. And how stupid he would be now to close his shop and not to take this money and just, I know that his prices are too high and he will make a hell of money. <laughs> so how come you just close your shop now? He told me, no, I'm a Muslim. It's my duty to pray on Friday. And it made me really think, because when it comes to money, we are all weak. And when it comes to uh, important things in life, I think we all have our family, the first important, and then almost after that, it's money. So I know that this man is living from that. And how come he prefers to pray, and I called it kissing his carpet, than taking our money? And that I was thinking a lot about that. My topic tonight is about Jesus, peace be upon him. And the way I want to cover this topic is a way that will be beneficial so that we can try to learn something. I'm not just here to disseminate a bunch of information and then just leave it at that. I want you actually to have something to take home. Um, and I'm going to try to restrict myself as much as I can in the beginning to the Islamic perspective of Jesus. What do Muslims believe about Jesus? What does the religion of Islam teach about Jesus? What does the Quran teach about Jesus? What did Muhammad, peace be upon him, teach about Jesus? But I'm going to go through some of the points where Islam and Christianity agree about the personage of Jesus and then where they disagree about the personage of Jesus. 
um, what you will actually come to find out is that what we agree upon between an Christianity and Islam about Jesus, I will say that the things that we agree upon are actually more than the things that we disagree upon. But one thing about Islam is that we are the only other world religion. I only make this claim because I've done my research diligently trying to find another religion that holds this belief. But we are the only other world religion that holds belief in Jesus as a tenant of faith. As a tenant of faith, meaning 